Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. Apple releases iOS 18.1 public beta 4. The update size is about 6.47 gigs as you can see. Don't worry, it is not going to take any extra storage. It is just going to overwrite the complete iOS. But if you're coming from the beta update, you will see a different size. So don't worry about that. So finally, it is over here in this video. I will talk about the new features. Geekbest score, battery life, upcoming updates and more. But let's start with the most important thing that is the pin number. So going into settings over here, I have already installed this update and it's 22B5075A. As you can see in the end, there is A which means we will get very close to the actual release of 18.1. At the end of this video, I will talk about the 18.1 release date too. So you can check out this video till the end. Now coming to the new features, as we know, this is the beta 7 and the, every other feature that Apple want to release in the beta 18.1 has been out. So beta 7 is not much about the new features. There is one little change. So in the clock widgets, when you are in the tinted options, the clock widgets are transparent. So let me go to the tinted options over here, customize tinted icons as you can see. Let me choose a better color over here, maybe this one. And now as you can see, the clock widgets are transparent, which look much better. However, the Lingo tinted version is not available. That is why it is showing something like this. So this is how it looks like. Well, I was hoping this also come for, for the dark mode icons over here, but for now it is not available. And this is how the light mode versions look like. This is the only change that I'm able to found in this public beta update. If I found any other change, I will definitely share that change in my upcoming videos. But this is what is new in the public beta 4. Now let's talk about the Geekbench score over here. So going into the Geekbench application, it is very important to understand whenever a new iOS update comes out, it takes a couple of days to get stable. So whenever you do a Geekman score run test right after updating, it will be different after a couple of days. But for now, I did this test 2261 on a single core while 5546 on a multi core. And in terms of single core, it is slightly better than the average one as you can see. And in the multi core, it is quite decent. If I compare the multi core score with the beta 6 as you can see beta 6 was 5475 and 5294 i ran two different tests over here so in terms of multi core performance is good i am hoping that single core score will also get better in upcoming days well these are the initial scores and definitely they get they will get better in upcoming updates other than the scores in terms of performance I, there is no issue at all definitely it is just out yet I cannot talk much about the performance, but it is good. In my one of the videos, I talk about that in beta 6, there was a problem where apps were stacking. YouTube was stacking, um, different podcast applications were not working properly. But for now, every other application is working properly. As you can see, podcasts are playing properly. And even if I go to the YouTube over here, everything is working fine over here. As you can see, Shawan Sama. My one of the favorite youtuber everything is working really fine so i think apple did fix this with this update which is a really good thing now talking about the battery life on beta 6 i get easily the best battery life i mean on public beta 3 i get easily the best battery life battery life was amazing so i am expecting that that battery life will continue to get on beta 4 public beta 4 so i think we're going to get a really good battery life on the public beta 4 definitely i just install this update i cannot talk about much about the battery life definitely i will test out this update for a couple of days and i will share my experience on this channel so make sure to subscribe and if i go to the last 10 days over here and show you the public beta 3 performance as I, you can see i used around 95% of my battery life, I got 8 hours and 3 minutes screen on time. Over here, I used around almost 80% of my battery life and again got 8 hours and 23 minutes screen on time. Used Netflix for more than 3 hours as you can see. So beta 6 was really great in terms of battery life. This is why I am expecting 
that iOS 18.1 public beta 4 will be great in terms of battery life but definitely I will be sharing more videos uh, when I start testing so make sure to subscribe the channel. So we talk about the new features Geekman score, battery life, what we can expect to see in upcoming updates. So beta 7 is over here also public beta 4 is over here so next week we are going to expect RC update of the 18.1 so on 21st october we are going to see rc update that is for sure and mark government confirms that we are going to get 18.1 official update on 28th of october so definitely i will be making a lot of lot of videos so make sure to subscribe to the channel also if i talk about the 18.2 i believe we will start getting 18.2 beta very soon I did post a video about the two new features that we are going to get in the 18.2. So I, you can check out that video, that video is also available on the channel. But I'm expecting to see 18.2 beta starting from 29th October. I'm not sure about this. I will talk about this in another video in detail. But this is what I can expect right after the release of 18.1. Well, this is all from this video. I talk about a few different things, new features, Geekman score, upcoming updates, and 18.2, what I think. Now, what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, 18.1 is a decent update. I have a thought that 18.1, 18.2, or 18.3, whatever new updates are coming, the main focus of these updates is regarding Apple intelligence. And Apple Intelligence is only available on like six different iPhones. iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max. Other than there are so many iPhones that support iOS 18, but Apple Intelligence features are not available on them. About this, I will make a video. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. But this is a weird situation that iOS 18 is coming. A lot of new updates are coming, but main features are not coming to the most of the iPhones that support iOS 18. It is a weird feature. I hope Apple bring different tweaks, but this is what it is. Well, it's a small, simple video in which I talk about um, 18.1 public beta 4 if you want to install this update if you're already on a public beta you can install this update but if you're on 18.0.1 and you want to install this update and you never installed any public beta before you can go to beta.apple.com from where you can sign up for the public beta or you can search uh, ios 18.1 public beta profile something like this you can sign up for there for public beta tester become a public beta tester and in the settings you will see the uh, in the software update you will see the public beta profile over here just like this one and you can select 18 public beta and you will see the update i have already updated so that is what i am not seeing so this way you can go to the from 18.0.1 you can come to the 18.1 public beta well this update is definitely a recommended one but still i will test out the battery life and the performance and will share my experience next day so make sure to subscribe well this is all from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out